No. That, how was no. that not something? Why was that not front page news every day for eight months like COVID? Where the fuck are the 43 kids? Yeah. More children are disappeared from that one than have died from COVID. Yes. Just saying. 43 Just saying. more, in fact. 43 more, <laughs> to be exact. Like, how is that How is that something that we just, like, I actually sort of forgot about the story until you mentioned it. I was like, oh, yeah, what happened to those kids? Oh, well, nothing, Thanks. ever. No nothing. one even pursued nothing. it. Nope. Nobody's looking. Fuck you. Can't COVID. look because of COVID. Can't do it. Fuck you. Yeah, COVID. Yeah, that's what they say. Oh, we stopped looking because of COVID. <laughs> Wait a minute. It was seven years ago. COVID started this January. Oh, no. We knew about COVID seven years ago. Yeah, COVID. <laughs> we just didn't want to scare people seven years ago so we didn't say covid back then but we knew, fuck, knew. <laughs> fuck you covid fuck you america fuck you people who don't go looking for your 43 fucking kids my god what are those families going through i don't if if my kid was missing my, i lost my kid in winners one day it couldn't have been more than three minutes it was probably a minute and a half if, if even that Lost yeah. my fucking mind. I was, I was out of my head, insane for a week after that. She was gone for a minute and a half. I was still fucked up for a week after we found her. Can you imagine mm-hmm. seven fucking years? My God, why isn't anybody doing something about that? I couldn't. I no, knew, knew, couldn't I would imagine. Start a cartel. Oh, fuck! I'd be the cartel would be the least of people's concerns <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Be, shit i would do <laughs> i'd make frank castle look like a walmart greeter oh absolutely <laughs> i would go after everybody i don't even i wouldn't even care anyway i wouldn't even care who they person was oh, no. do you know my kids are no are you help me look for them no then you die fuck it move on to the you next one. Be, oh yeah you would be, actually <laughs> what was that movie with liam neeson where he did that that was fucking dope uh, was that taken? Yeah. Yeah, his daughter goes missing or whatever, and he just fucking yeah. He doesn't ask questions. He just kind of John Wicks it. It's fucking great. <laughs> I but my that, favorite scene in the movie is when he sticks the spikes in the guy's thighs and hooks it up to the fucking power. <laughs> so brutal. Just that, turns it on. He goes, "You know the thing about power? You get some of these third world countries. You flip the light switch on, it'll be two weeks before the power turns out. But here, that'll run until somebody shuts off the block." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gave the information. Let me go. Who said that? <laughs> Turns yeah. it on, stuffs it back in his face, and leaves. <laughs> so good. That was part of the part of what inspired my my little thing about I I will tell them everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I will talk immediately. But also on the <laughs> flip side of that coin is like if something ever happened to my daughter, if her and forty two of her friends went missing, mm-hmm. uh, your whole country would be coughing in each other's faces, begging for COVID. Yeah. Absolutely. And for the record, Eric, I'll be right beside you through oh, it. I certainly hope so. Then we don't need your asteroid anymore. No. I will wipe You know, you'll want the, the asteroid. Population. You will want the asteroid. <laughs> It'd be less painful. <laughs> oh, I almost want to do that just for these 43 kids. That's mm-hmm. fucking 43 kids. My God. They were young, too. Yeah. 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 Just, just little kids. Little children. They were and like, were they, were they teens? Or they were they preteens. Preteens. Preteen. Yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. I hate that you brought that up. I hate that that's pretty much the end of the show. I, I do have one more. In my life. Um, well, I technically have two more. It depends on what you want to hear. Um, there's one here that's in um in Ethiopia, the Ethiopian Human Rights Commission. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um. They've been well. There's been in June 29th of this year. There was a there was a shooting of a of a very well loved musician, Hakalu Hundessa is his name. Uh, As soon once he was killed, it sparked protests that have killed more than 178 people in the capital and surrounding regions. Um, Over 9,000 people have been arrested. Um, all based because of this guy being killed. Um, I'm pretty sure this musician is not what he wanted. Um, so well done. Um, so yeah, there's uh, the uh, the commission is worried that the government is returning to their iron fisted tactics um, that used to happen in that country um, oh, since sure. they've reformed themselves over the last few years. But uh, 
Uh, yeah. Since, no, since President Trump reformed them. Thank you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, it's just shit's going to hell, and there are tons of people going to fucking jail, and a lot of people fucking die. Well, not a huge amount of people, I but a bunch that. of people dying. This is the equivalent. This is Ethiopian Bieber died, and they're fucking yeah. tearing their country apart over it. Like that. That is some protesting in your blood. <laughs> when they're like, if they killed Bieber, we gotta burn the fucking country down. What? No. Oh, there'll be another <laughs> one next week. Right. <laughs> Uh, just yeah, that'd just be a no. I mean, I I'd probably I I'd probably throw a small party. I just love it. Like I I I, I joke <laughs> about the Canadian coup and what a hilarious thing that would be. But in these countries, they will fucking overthrow the government for like a, a pop singer gets killed. Oh, we gotta overthrow the government. What? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> we gotta ride in the street for this. Why? <laughs> that has never once crossed my mind. Like, like not like a military overthrow of the government. Just like. Oh my god, they don't sell Krispy Crunch anymore. We have to overthrow the government. <laughs> Burn the stores. <laughs> like, oh, there's a there's a funny meme of Jesus. Oh, that's it. We are going to kill the <laughs> artist and riot for months. <laughs> and overthrow the government. And overthrow the government, of course. That's no, uh, we just don't do that. <laughs> like, oh, animals. We are uh, corn- really... There's no <laughs> denying Darwinism. Like, there's no denying we no. came from animals when people do shit like that. Yeah, exactly. Um, according to this uh, article, which for the record is from Al Jazeera, so it should be somewhat accurate. Um, they're saying that uh, one of the people arrested was an opposition activist who police dragged from his bed in the middle of the night on July 8th as he slept next to his pregnant wife. Um. He, uh, they have been held without charge since July 8th, and since then he has con- con- contracted COVID 19. Yeah, of course. So, <laughs> well done. <laughs> but he did recover, for the record. Uh, yeah, right. everybody dies. Yeah, that's right. For the dead ones. <laughs> <laughs> So 7,126 people have been arrested in one community alone or one city alone. Um, he don't he does. They don't know how many have been charged, but said that files were being prepared on 500 of them. Yeah. On that, 500 of the 7,000. They'll never be charged. That is right in Ethiopian jail. Oh, and that can't be fun. And the that two Michaels really... are trying to get transferred there right now. <laughs> Anything's better than where we are. <laughs> the grass is greener on the other side, right? Isn't that what they tell us? We'll, we'll, we'll help you find their 43 kids. You shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Why are we fucking worried about TikTok? Go get my Michaels. Right? TikTok. Well, we aren't WhatsApp. worried about Where's TikTok. Where's the fucking That's 43 it. kids? Find them and then worry about fucking WhatsApp. <laughs> TikTok. The fact that you're threatened by something called TikTok alone <laughs> says wonders. The fact that you're worried about TikTok and not 43 missing children. Yeah, exactly. Jesus Christ. Um, Give me my Michaels back, you sons of bitches. <laughs> Last thing I got actually I'll... comes out in North Korea. I'm going to go oh, good. And that's good. You know what's happy. <laughs> you know it's going to be happy news. Um, North Korea has been dealing with tremendous amounts of flooding recently. Um, and one of the areas that's gotten flooded and is still continuing to flood is right next to a nuclear facility. Are you sure and that's not just Dennis Rodman tears? It's very possible. Um, but they, uh, there's, uh, an, Amer- a U.S. based think tank called 38 North. I have I, heard about them. I have heard of them too. I don't recall exactly why, but the name rings a bell. Uh, I know there's, I read about like four different major think tanks in the U.S. and one of them was just horrendous. Um, I don't know which one it was, but nonetheless, um, they're, um, they're just, very, very worried that this could end up being um, have a d- major disaster 
on the likes of what happened in Japan. Uh, so you could call this Tukachima, like Fukushima. <laughs> hey, I can market the shit out of your next nuclear tragedy. Send me an email. I will make it popular. I'll, I'll make it a commercial and a meme. <laughs> well, let me put your mind at ease, um, North Korea. Nobody's going to give a fuck unless your nuclear power plant has COVID. Which it very well might. So, we don't know. If it melts been down yet. and COVID gets in the ocean and there's some like fish COVID, then people will come and help you. But if it's just like a nuclear meltdown, you're fine. Yeah, absolutely. When you all start uh, getting weird tumors and shit 20 years from now, there'll be COVID. Leftover COVID tumors. <laughs> Have they stopped Fukushima from leaking yet? No. That's still going. That's just going. So good. Maybe you and Japan can work together on something there, Kim. <laughs> Figure something out. <laughs> or just deal with it the way they did. Hey, is that done? Sure. <laughs> hey, do you have any COVID before we have the Olympics? Nope, none. <laughs> Don't have any here. We had one yesterday. We found it and killed them. <laughs> I remember Japan, though, because we were going to have the Olympics there. And they said, is there any COVID there? Japan said, no, there's no COVID. I said, no, we're not going to do the Olympics. Okay, there's a bunch of COVID here. <laughs> we can probably use your help. <laughs> like, you just... hey, Oops. Is that power plant stopped leaking toxic shit in the ocean? Yeah, long time ago. <laughs> hey, what's all that toxic shit in the ocean? Oh, you meant that, Fukushima. <laughs> nah, that's still bad. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just so fucking funny. <laughs> it's just fucking true. And uh, everyone thinks the Japanese are the greatest people on earth. They're just shady as fuck, and we don't check on them because they're on an island. We if people could do whatever they want on islands, and we'll never go there and find out. Like Vancouver Island could be all kinds of nasty shit happening there. We we'll never know because nobody goes there. Because island people are weird. And that's why Japanese people are weird. But uh, North Korea, you're fine. You're okay. Yeah. So just so you know, as of March 13th, 2020, um, the radioactive remains of the reactor buildings in Fukushima are still off limits, but areas underground beneath the plant remain extremely hazardous. Radioactive cooling water is leaking from the melted down reactors and mixing with groundwater. And this happened in what the fuck did that happen? Twenty eleven. Yeah. Two thousand eleven. Yep. Fuck me, that's nine years ago. And it's they just it's just, still yeah. leaking. Yeah. And we're worried about COVID. <laughs> <laughs> like when I lived in BC, they were starting to have fucking radioactive shit fucking wash up over in BC. Like I mean, like oh, yeah. I don't get why. How did I, that just stop? that's what we do we just move on you'll watch COVID will happen on. too you thought SARS got cured yeah, <laughs> we just stopped talking about it and then it, it was just, gone it just disappeared and that's how things happen in our world apparently <laughs> what happened to those three, three kids <laughs> don't care that's not cool anymore we are, we're on to something more cool now it's so <laughs> fucked like why and then we act like we give a shit about anything but we really don't, because once we move on to the next thing, we forget about the last one. Look at that. Fucking Fukushima is still happening. Yeah. Like, just let me say that again for uh, anyone new to the show. Fukushima is still happening. Still and... nine years exactly. Just well, over nine years now. Like, that's just, hey, how do you feel about COVID? Well, let me tell you how I feel about COVID. Fucking Fukushima is still leaking in the ocean. Yeah. You want to go eat some fish? <laughs> no. Yeah, probably don't now. They're, I think they're hoping for Godzilla at this point. Oh, it's this not going to make anything worse. Let it leak. We need Godzilla. Because he'll fuck up everything. Like he oh. that, He's your asteroid. Maybe Fukushima is your asteroid. Maybe. We're all going to die Seriously. from Japanese radiation that's been leaking Certainly. for nine fucking years and we turned our back on it because of Trump and The Apprentice and 
fucking, I don't know, who else can I blame?